Have you ever woke up with this question in your mind? Who is holding my money? More than likely, if you have a job, this has never entered your mind. Your mindset is geared toward going to work, working a certain amount of hours, and getting a check at the end of the week or every two weeks or once a month, whatever the case may be. The who is holding my money philosophy is a totally different mindset. It is a totally different way of living because at this moment, once you start to ask this question, everything changes, everything. You begin to see the world from a different perspective. You begin to understand that you have more power than you originally thought. One of the things that has happened to people is folks have been indoctrinated into this job life set. And it's not necessarily a bad thing to have a job, but I'm here to tell you, you can do better if you're willing to ask this question, who's holding my money? Now let's talk about the framework. When you get to this situation of who's holding my money, you have a whole different orientation. You have a different way of looking at the world. You have a different understanding because more than likely you have moved from the employee quadrant to the self-employment quadrant and ultimately to the business owner quadrant. When you ask the question of who's holding my money, there's a lot of things that you have done to put yourself in that position. First of all, you begin to understand how the game is played. And the game is not really that complicated, but you don't know what you don't know. There is a lack of understanding. There's a lack of familiarity with how things work. So the first thing that you've done is you've gone below and you've got 30 days to 2,500 and you've joined the 30 days to 2,500 Facebook so you can network and talk to other people who are on this journey with you, links below. And one of the things that you have done is you've begun to seek a way to generate income. Because every day I wake up and I was like, who's holding my money? There is an expectation that there are people out there who want to do business with me. And I'm about to get a little racial because when I created my first digital product, most of my customers were white. And a lot of people are like, well, you know, here's the thing. People will do business with you if doing business with you benefits them. That's it. It doesn't matter if you're black, doesn't matter if you're white, doesn't matter if you're gay, it doesn't matter if you're trans. If you created a business where there's an economic, physical, monetary, whatever kind of benefit there is, people will spend their money with you. And this is an expectation that you have to put in your head because there are many people out there who are like, no one's gonna wanna buy from my little business. Wrong answer. That's the wrong way to look at it. You're hustling backwards if you're thinking like that because I'm here to tell you something. Do you know you can have a crappy website, you can have a crappy product, you can have a crappy situation, but if you create your business in a vertical with high demand, you will get business. And you can have the perfect website, you can have the perfect product for an audience that ain't really interested in it and you won't make no money. See, asking the question, who is holding my money, creates an, expect, an expectation that someone out there in the world wants to give you money. It's an expectation. Every day I wake up with this question, like who's holding my money? And every day I get sales, but I have a lot of offerings. I have a lot of products. So one of the things that you've got to do is understand they can't buy it if you don't have it out for sale. 
I said this to a friend years ago and he was just, it was like one of those aha moments because when I was doing my consulting and I was getting $50,000 a month, if I didn't ask for the $50,000 a month, I wouldn't have gotten the $50,000 a month. So you, you've got to understand, many of you are in your own way because you don't have an expectation that people want to give you money. It's just that simple. It's just like, ah, oh, you know, I'm this, I'm that. No, you, you're, you're hustling backwards. You must plant this expectation in your head. Who is holding my money? Who wants to give me money? Who wants to do business with me? And then get busy creating that business. Do you know there's a lady not too far from here who's had a cookie shop? Cookies. The shop was in business before I moved to this neighborhood and I've been in this neighborhood 11 years. I don't know how long she's been there, but she sells cookies. Do people need cookies? No, they don't. Do people want cookies? Yes, they do. And she's been selling these cookies for 11 plus years. I think her name is Allie's Cookies. And that's all she does. Cause she knows there are people out there who have a sweet tooth who want to give her money for her cookies. And she's in a retail mall establishment, which means she's got high rent. And she's been paying this high rent for 11 plus years because Allie woke up with the question, who's holding my money? I'm gonna make some cookies for these people. It is on you to get busy. It is on you to go ahead and begin creating the business so people can fulfill the expectation of giving you money because it's an expectation. Every morning I'm like surprised. I have PayPal, I have Stripe, I'm looking in there and I'm like, man, you know, these people gave me some money. But part of this situation is you've got to create the environment where people can give you money. If there's no environment, if there's no system, if there's no way for people to give you the money, guess what? No one's giving you any money. It's just that simple. You must create an environment where people want to give you money. Like right now, I'm, I'm today I'm gonna be working on some products for Savage Finance. I already have people over at Savage Finance who wanna give me money. They're like, hey, you're consulting? What are you doing? I need to know. I need to understand how this works because I got money in my pocket and I want to give it to you for your services because i am got to create the environment because right now there's no environment at Savage Finance. There's no setup at Savage Finance for people to give me. Well, there is a little bit of an environment because I have the strategic holding company this week. I've had five sales of that and there's other things, but I got to create a better environment for people to give me money because they hold my money. Also, something else you got to do. You got to claim this money. You got to claim it. You got to say who is holding my money. You got to claim it. And then you got to create that environment. You got to create that situation where people can give you the money. This is something that literally 85, 90% of Americans miss. They have no environment. They have no system. They have no expectation for people to give them the money. So the question you should wake up with tomorrow is who's holding my money? What kind of business like at cookies, at least cookies. You don't need cookies, Krispy Kreme donuts. You don't need no Krispy Kreme donuts, but I don't think I've ever seen a Krispy Kreme donuts go out of business. Because every day Krispy Kreme wakes up, who's holding my money? And they make these donuts and they make the coffee. Starbucks, who's holding my money? Apple, who's holding my money? Google, who's holding my money? You got to go ahead and put that thing into play so people can give you the money. That's the equation. Because you first just start off with the question, who is holding my money? The second thing you do 
is create the environment where people can give you money. And the third thing you do is you collect the money and you, you, you do a value exchange. You exchange something of value for the money. This is one of the things that you got to do. So what I'm getting ready to do this Thursday at 7 p.m. is I'm going to have a live webinar and it's going to be a live training where you can ask questions and we can participate and it's going to teach you how to retrain yourself. It's going to teach you how to position yourself for who's holding my money. So go below and I'm going to give you a little juice off. Go ahead and get that. And let's go ahead and start making some money together, man. Start asking that question every day. Who's holding my money? And create the expectation and fulfillment of that environment. So that's all I got for you guys. There's another video right here. Be sure to check it out.